Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite political illiterate, Gardner. <laughs> so did you guys hear about this uh, cinnamon screensaver bug that came out a few uh, days ago? A few weeks ago, my kids wanted to hack my Linux desktop, so they typed and clicked everywhere while I was standing behind them watching them play when the screensaver cord dumped and they actually hacked their way in. Wow, those little hackers. I thought it was a unique incident, but they managed to do it a second time, so I'd consider this issue uh, reproducible by kids. I tried to recreate the crash on my own with no success, maybe because it required more than four little hands typing and using the mouse on a virtual keyboard, maybe not the best bug report, but I've seen the screen lock crash twice already with my own eyes, so it's pretty real. One last thing. After the desktop is unlocked, I can't relock it again. The screensaver process is pretty dead and requires me to open a shell and run Cinnamon Screensaver manually to get it to work. <laughs> That's a thoroughly dead screensaver, Damon, and such a cute story. Except Jamie Zawinski predicted this exact bug nearly 20 years ago. Now, if you don't know Jamie, he also goes by uh, JWZ online. Uh, he's one of the founders of Netscape and Mozilla, and he's also just an all around free software dude. Uh, in his latest blog post, he wrote, quote, if you're not running X screensaver on Linux, then it's safe to assume that your screen does not lock. You will recall that in 2004, which is now 17 years ago, I wrote a document explaining why I'd made the design trade-offs that I did in X Screensaver. And in that document, I predicted this exact bug as my example of, this is what will happen if you don't do it this way. And then they went and made it happen repeatedly. And Jamie has helpfully provided links to a bunch of examples of this exact bug happening over and over again. So what's happening here is actually uh, somewhat of a multi-fold problem. First, as JWZ points out, writing uh, security critical code is really hard for human beings to do. We're just not good at it. Secondly, authentication and locking of the screen are OS level concerns, yet X11 was designed without any consideration for security to speak of. That means that your screensaver can only run as normal, unprivileged user land applications. And compounding all of this, X11 is an antique at this point, and it won't be getting the meaningful changes that are needed to prevent this kind of vulnerability in the future. Quote, Every time this bug is reintroduced, someone pipes up and says, like, so what? It was a bug. They fixed it. That's really missing the point. The point is not that such a bug existed, but that such a bug was even possible. The real bug here is that the design of the system even permits this class of bug. It is unconscionable that someone designing a critical piece of security infrastructure would design the system in such a way that it does not fail safe. Especially when I have given them nearly 30 years of prior art demonstrating how to do it right and a two decade old document clearly explaining what not to do that coincidentally used this very bug as an illustrative straw man. These bugs are a shameful embarrassment of design as opposed to merely bad code. He goes on to say, as always, these bugs are terrible because bad security is worse than no security. If you knew for a fact that your screen didn't lock, you would behave appropriately. Maybe you'd log out when you walked away. Maybe you wouldn't use that computer for certain things. But a security placebo makes you behave as if it's secure when in fact it is not. And he's absolutely right about that. I mean, if you d knew your computer had no security, you would take different steps than if you believed it had security when it wasn't. But even more frustratingly, JWZ alleges that, quote, not only are GNOME screensaver, Mint screensaver, and Cinnamon screensaver buggy and insecure dumpster fires, but they are also in violation of my license and infringing my copyright. X screensaver was released under the BSD license, one of the oldest and most permissive of the free software licenses. It turns out that GNOME screensaver authors copied large parts of X screensaver into their program, removed the BSD license, and slapped a GPL license on my code instead, and also removed my name. Rude. If they had asked me, can you dual license this code, I might have said yes. If they had asked, can we strip your name off and credit someone else instead? Probably not. Wow. Yikes. Like, why would you do that? I mean, I'm not a lawyer. I, you know, I'm just some random Linux pundit. But speaking in broad terms here, as an open source community, 
our licenses are like everything to us. Like we don't have a free software movement if we don't have and respect our licenses. We need to act in good faith on our licenses. The fact is people who write free software uh, own the copyright to their work. Um, they are only sharing it with you under a free and open source license. And frankly, you don't have a right to use someone else's code if you are not abiding by the license that they shared it to you under. To me, it seems like theft to use a copyrighted free software work in whole or in part, strip it of its original license and remove the original author's credit. And it's not just theft. I mean, it is also a violation of what we as an open source community should hold as the most sacrosanct. It's scummy and we should strive to be better than that. I don't know. I'd like to know what you guys think about this. Let me know uh, down in the comments. I'd, I'd love to hear what you think about this whole uh, topic. Do you think that these software projects should uh, rebuild themselves from the ground up? I mean, especially if what JWZ is alleging is true. I mean, this is awful. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps us out. You can also hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the awesome stuff we're doing here on the channel. Uh, that's gonna do it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day.